In this video, we're going to talk about how to upgrade your NAS with some NVMe cache. So if you've got some 718, 918, 920, 720, 1520, all these Synology Plus series models with an NVMe cache at the bottom, then all you need is NVMe, stake, SSD, and you just put them in there, in the slot, slide them in, don't force it, do it with one end, that's how it is, that's it, that's NVMe installed, I'm gonna show you later on how to configure it on the software side when you log into a Synology and go to storage manager and now uh, assign this cache to your volume. When choosing an SSD, Cyroxy is going to be probably the cheapest NVMe. What you need to know is that all desktop series, which are not XS plus series, they will come with some um, X2 kind of connection for N2, which means that maximum speed you can get out of it is around 500 megabytes a second. So there is no really much of a point getting really fast NVMe for these desktop home environment NASes. So what I would recommend is yeah, getting Skyroxia. There are some situations when you could consider something um, faster regards IOPS. So if you are running virtual machines, um, a database, web server, or something really fast, where there's so many users connecting, then instead of speed of NVMe, you could actually consider higher IOPS. And uh, in these situations, you might actually consider Samsung um, Evo, uh, Samsung Pro, NVMe Pro, or WD Black, or Synology own branded NVMe SSD. Because in these situations, uh, it's not going to be about the speed, it's going to be about the speed of getting response out of this SSD. So every operation has been sent, stored, retrieved from SSD. You want this to happen as fast as possible. Uh, this is one option of um, adding cache on on and uh, on Synology so using NVMe. But if you got, for example, XS series uh, NAS plus series, you, and you got more than like four bays, and you're using only three or two, and you want to add some cache, you can actually use 3.5 inch bays for SSD caching. So if you can have a look at the tray, you will see that. There are a few extra holes actually made to allowing you to actually install SSD. As you can see it's gonna there's a matching holes on SSD on a 3.5 inch bay. So screw that in, slide into a spare bay. Uh, if you have one extra SSD, you can enable read cache. If you got two uh, spare uh, slots available, you can put two SSDs in there, enable. Uh, read and write cache. Uh, read and write cache will require RAID 1 protection, which means that if one SSD fails, then the other one still got your data. So if you've got read and write cache, it means that all data written to a NAS first is going to land on this SSD, and only then it's going to be written, scrubbled on your hard drive. So it can actually speed up um, data transfer speeds when you send something to a NAS by having uh, even this sort of cache. This is this would be SSD SATA type of cache. So you would expect somewhere around 500 megabytes a second, whereas NVMe is somewhere starting with 1000 megabytes a second, going up to 7000 megabytes a second. And, and do have a look at endurance ratings as well, because some SSDs uh, may last longer. They can actually deliver better speeds uh, across the longer time, time span. So, because all SSDs might look like they, they work very fast at the beginning, but then after a minute or two, when their cache is filled up or anything, they slow down. So these are the things you can consider. I'll, I might actually put that on the screen, showing the differences between the SSDs when you're making your choice. I'm going to move on on the software side to show you how to set this up on, on the computer in a second. So now we are um, on Synology. This is DSM-7. You probably most likely have DSM-6 version, but uh, the process is exactly the same. What you need to do is go to a list of your apps, choose Storage Manager, and then on Storage Manager, you go for Storage, 
choose create and click on create SSD cache and then you can choose which volume you want cache on if in case you've got several volumes and then you can choose between read write cache or read only cache read only is um, only useful if most of the time something will be like read from the NAS accessed and, and not that often written to NAS in read only cache you can uh, install only one NVMe stick or SSD if you want to enable also write cache you will need two SSDs at least or three if you've got um, uh, base available for that scenario then you can enable RAID 5 for that but we're going to choose read and write cache and go next there's going to be warning that you are not you shouldn't be removing any of SSDs because once the read and write cache is set up you, all the data written to NAS first will be landing on SSD so if you remove the SSD your data will be lost so you don't want that to happen so we understand that so in this case if you got two SSDs we can choose RAID 1 if we had three we could choose RAID 5 protection so we can move on now we select which SSDs in this case we got only two you we want in a RAID then we go next and now there is a warning that you need to know that following uh, regarding the selected drives not selected in the Synology products compatibility list cache device one cache device two so this is what's happening here is that Synology is trying to sell their own cache since um, this year they have released their own SSD caches they want to make money on that just like they do on the RAM you just um, ignore that and carry on because there is no difference which SSDs you're gonna go for then you can set actually how much of um, SSD cache you want to use and probably we're gonna go for a max available and then there is option uh, you can choose is required system memory is 90 megabytes so more cache you can add more uh, of a RAM is gonna be required to have on your NAS so it could actually handle this but it's usually kilobytes per, per every gigabyte added of a cache and then there's option to pin all BTRFS metadata to SSD cache required cache capacity 2.5 gigabytes so what's gonna happen if you do that all system files all temporary files instead of being located uh, stored on the hard drives which is much much slower media all system data will be now stored on this NVMe cache which is gonna improve basically everything on, on, on Synology NAS <clears throat> and we definitely want to choose that and we can um, just check if we have everything selected properly so we're gonna have cache for volume one read write cache and RAID one is going to be one drive or one SSD protection so if one fails all data is still in another one what kind of SSDs we have this NVMe and uh, selected cache one and two so two SSDs what's the capacity 232 gigabytes and we are setting that all system files will be stored on this cache so yes that's correct now it's a warning that data will be deleted from this SSD yes we understand that we click OK and um, in a few seconds the SSD should be enabled so what's happening now is that it's mounting SSD cache so you need to wait so now it's healthy so it means that's it. it's all done everything is set up we got 200 uh, megabytes of cache available on this 3.5 terabyte volume so we are pretty much done that's it